Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today I will explain you how you can find the distribution of quadratic form. That is a part of the multivariate normal distribution. Myself Dr. Harish Kar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of applied multivariate statistics and you can see the various lecture related to the multivariate normal distribution is appear in this playlist. Now, if I quickly recall you what we have discussed from the last lecture that is we have defined the multivariate normal distribution which has the two parameters one is called as a mean and second is called as the positive covariance matrix the detail about the various concepts on this multivariate you can found about my youtube channel and this is the lecture name of this concept also we have defined the probability density functions if x follows the multivariate normal distribution then the joint density function is defined like this man now what is the objective of this today's lecture the objective is we will see what could be the distribution of this function of this term if i call this is my q then what is the distribution of this term that is q and that is the objective of this today's lecture so before i start directly to this q uh, you can simply subscribe my youtube channel and like my video so that you can get the notification in advance if x follows my multivariate normal distribution what does it means that means x is my x1 up to xp and it follows the normal distribution with the mean mu and sigma that means x is my p cross 1 similarly the mu is my p cross 1 and sigma will be my p cross p matrix then your target is to find what is the distribution of this quadratic form now what is given now since we are talking about the distribution x is my multivariate normal distribution so what is the distribution form what is the probability density function of this x which is defined like this man now if i consider this value q now clearly say x is my p cross 1 matrix mu is my p cross 1 matrix so what does it implies x minus mu is also p cross 1 matrix and what is the x minus mu transpose this is 1 cross p matrix also sigma is my p cross p matrix sigma inverse is also p cross p matrix so this matrix is my p cross 1 this is my p cross p and this is my 1 cross p so if you multiply them what is my q q is my 1 cross 1 matrix that means you can say q is my scalar matrix so once it's a scalar matrix we can define the mgf that is called as movement generating function it is denoted by small t that's mq of t remember whenever you are talking about the multivariate normal distribution the movement generating function is defined as expected value t transpose of x but here because the size of q is my 1 cross 1 then instead of that t transpose i can simply use as small t now i can apply this in what is the expected value of this this is q into fx of dx i can substitute the value of q in terms of the x at this point and fx value at this point we will get this term now you can see these two base are same so i can add them it is my t minus half or i can take an as minus half common it is 1 minus 2 into t so i can return this quantity as this term now now because we need to integrate them how you can integrate them that's a very simple you can look about that it is my sigma inverse fine and it is my that's a determinant of this or you can write this quantity also in terms of sigma inverse that is if it is a sigma inverse you can write this quantity instead of this denominator you can write in the numerator same for here what i can do is i can multiply and divide it by this quantity fine this is the determinant of this I can multiply and divide it by this quantity fine so I can multiply and divide it by this red quantity then you can see what is the value of this 
term what is the value of this term because this is the pdf this is the pdf so what is the integration of this pdf it is always one fine because we know this is the p if it is a pdf then integration of the f over dx is my one and you can see this is my sigma if it is sigma then it will be the absolute there is a determinant of this now it is a one you can return like this man now what is the property of this if a is my n cross n matrix what is the determinant of a so a is scalar number it is a raised to power n determinant of a so because this is my scalar number and sigma is sigma inverse is my p cross p matrix so i can return this number is sigma this number is my a so that is my 2 raised to power p and because it's a half it's a p by 2 and the remaining quantity is my this term by using this property now you can see what is the value of this it is my 1 because sigma and sigma inverse is identity matrix so this comes to be my this term now since we start from the mgf do you remember which random variable has mgf of this form that is a chi scale distribution and this p is called as degree of freedom so that means this by the uniqueness property of mgf this mq that is called as the mgf of chi square that means q follows my chi square distribution with p degree of freedom or you can say the distribution of this quadratic form follows my chi square distribution with p degree of freedom where p is my size of the matrix sigma inverse or p is my multivariate normal distribution this one. so this is a simple way you can drive the distribution of the quadratic form i hope you can like my video and share with your friends in the next lecture we will see how you can find the estimators of the multivariate normal distribution till then you can share with your friends like and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning